In this snippet, we're going to talk about how to join a slave thermostat to a master thermostat in a room. And uh, the thermostat that's currently up here um, has already been configured um, for its room number and its proper stat type. It has devices joined to it, a motion sensor, a sliding door sensor. And now we want to go ahead and add the, uh, the slave thermostat uh, to this thermostat. So we go about this by first grabbing the uh, the thermostat that we're going to use as a slave. It's just a standard defaulted thermostat, brand new one that came out of the box. What we're going to do is go ahead and get in the menu by hitting the three bottom buttons and the up arrow at the same time. We're going to go to stack configuration number one and hit select. And we're going to come down to number three, operating mode. We're going to go ahead and press select on operating mode. And right now this thermostat is defaulted for the master mode. Well, we want to go ahead and make this a slave. So we're going to go down to number two, scroll down, hit select, and then select again to confirm. The thermostat will power cycle. And uh, this is when we'll be uh, waiting for it to accept the change to become a slave thermostat. Now, once uh, we get a temperature value back up here again, we'll just go ahead and uh, get into the main menu again by hitting the three button buttons and the up arrow. We'll come down to number three, diagnostic test, hit select, and then come down to number five, network state. You'll see that there is absolutely no uh, room number in here. Um, and uh, we'll need to make sure that we configure our type and fan speeds uh, proper for this particular uh, device. Um, also, we make a thermostat a slave. You'll notice down here there's an R for the room area network, and there's also an H normally in a master mode. But since we've now converted this to slave or a standalone mode, there will be no H present here because this thermostat will not be talking in the network. It'll be talking to the master thermostat in the room, which will then in turn be talking to the network. So, in orders of steps here and, and how we go about making sure we can get this thermostat onto the master, we're going to go into the master thermostat right now. Press the three bottom buttons and the up arrow to get into the main menu. We're going to come down to Network Configuration and hit Select. Now we're going to make sure that this middle bottom button says room, RAN or Room Area Network. And we're going to come down to where this says Permit Joining. One thing to remember about the slave thermostat is that we do not need to enter a room number or anything on a slave thermostat. It's going to accept the room number from the master um, when uh, when it, when it finds it on the network. So what we're going to do now is just make sure that the thermostat, we're in the main menu, we're in network configuration, we're under room area network or RAN, permit joining is highlighted, we're going to go ahead and hit select. And now the counter is started, which means now this master thermostat is open for any other joist to, to, uh, to go ahead and, and um, program itself to it. So now we're going to go take the slave thermostat right now and get into the main menu. And we're going to come down to number two, network configuration, and press select. Once we have that done, we're going to make sure that this middle bottom button says RAN, because right now it won't be able to change, because once we make it a slave thermostat or a standalone thermostat, HAN or the HAN is no longer available. We're going to come down to active scan on this thermostat and hit select. And by doing so, what we're looking for is the network that the master thermostat is on. And right now, what we're seeing right here now is we've got a Zigbee ID address, which is the ID of this master thermostat that's located right behind here. We'll have the 001215RC. 1215 is the room number that was assigned to this master thermostat. And then also, we'll go ahead and do that again here one more time. Um, 1215 is the room number that was assigned to this master thermostat, and the RC stands for the RAN. So what we're saying now is that this slave thermostat has found the master in the room, and now we want to go ahead and select this network. So we'll go ahead and hit select. It comes back with a radio status of 2, which means that it did grab the master thermostat. Had this come back with a 0 up here, that would have means it didn't find it. You would have gone and, and retried it again to find that network or for it to accept. Now that it's accepted it, I know that radio status is 2, we're good to go there. The PAN ID shows up as 1215RC. So it's listed itself as room 1215's master thermostat is what it's bound itself to. So now if we go hit the back button and we want to go back one more time, exit by hitting the bottom left button. And now we come back down back to number three, diagnostic test and hit select and come down to 
network state number five, we'll now see that the room number has been accepted in here as 1215, where there was no room number before. The S is an indicator here at, at, the, at, uh, at the end of any type of type, which means the type is the HVAC um, equipment that we're trying to interface with. The S stands for that this is a slave thermostat. Uh, once again, your fan speeds, and you'll see that your room area network is at a 2, as it should be, because it found the master thermostat. There are no motion, no door sensors, and there is no H or HAN av network available when you do a slave thermostat. So for purposes right now, this thermostat, that's the slave, has now been programmed to the master thermostat that is here. If we go into the menu here and go down to... Um, Number three, diagnostic test on the master, and press select, and under live diagnostics, if we go ahead and do any button presses now on the slave thermostat, you'll see that they come up here as 1C2. These are button presses that are now showing that this ID from the slave is now reporting itself to the master. So it's something else to take in consideration is how you can go ahead and program a slave to a master and then by going back to the live diagnostic menu, if you make a couple button presses, you will see the 1C type of designation, which is indicating that now you've had some button presses from your slave to the master thermostat. Now you've just verified that you've programmed it and you've tested it to verify that it is communicating.